Welcome to Donington Park for the penultimate event of the season in the Marangoni Tyres Gas Shocks Compact Cup. It's a two-horse race for the championship now between Steve Roberts and Stuart Voice. And before racing got underway, Matt Suckling caught up with both drivers. Stephen Roberts, you are leading the BMW Compact Cup Championship. You've had a great run of uh, results so far, six back-to-back, -back, and it's looking pretty good here at Donington as well. Yeah, um, I'm ultra paranoid this weekend, listening for every noise in the car, because we've just got to have two strong finishes, and I think we can wrap it up this weekend, but... As much as I try not to think about it, I do, but the aim is to just try and take two more wins. And we would be do, just trying to finish ahead of your rivals? Um, yeah, but like I say, I think if you start looking in your mirrors, accidents uh, and you kind of attract trouble. So I'm just looking forward and, and keep trying to push for the two wins again. The, the year for you has been very good indeed. What is kind of the aim for next year? Is this a, a progression step? Uh, I've kind of tried the career path and uh, run into budget troubles as many drivers do. So. The thing for next year is to come back and do this again because uh, we find it, you know, it's enjoyable racing, it's what we can afford to do and that's that's the main aim is to be in a championship that you can afford to do because we've been in championships before that we probably shouldn't have been in because we haven't got the money to do that type of thing. So it's it's important to have, have a good car and uh, it's important to race within your budget and that's what we'll be doing next year. Now if we get the budget to do something up the ladder then great we'll, we'll go on and do that but the compact cups are enjoyable and I'll, I'll come back to do it again next year. And you've already been here at Donington Park earlier in the year so you have had a bit of uh, track time. Yeah so um, yeah we actually tested on Thursday but it was a bit of a washout um, but yeah we, we raced here on the on the GP, GP circuit uh, back in June I think it was um, so yeah I really love the circuit it's technical but it's flowing as well I, I really enjoyed Donington Park. Let's see how you get on this weekend. Great, thanks a lot. Stuart, you're the man who's done most of the hunting this year. Do you reckon it's going to be a change of form here at Donington? Well, we're going to try, but it's uh, we've just got to have, keep on pushing and try and set up the car. And yeah, we're just going to keep on trying to uh, keep on getting up there on the front, try and get podium still. So that's what we're going to do. And I understand it was a bit tricky out there in qualifying this morning. The track was still a bit greasy. Yeah, that is. Yes, it was a bit more trickier. It was uh, dry in places and then wet in others. So you go along and then hit water and then yeah so it's a bit tricky out there at the moment but and at this stage in the the season are you thinking about the championship is it just good results you're thinking about well we can't really uh hunt for the champ like the lead of the championship steve's already got that he has it, and uh so we just got to uh push along and just try and keep it with his second and then that's it really try and keep it that but it'd be good for me first season ever racing in a championship to get second so yeah and is it going to be two more podiums do you reckon this weekend well, we'll be pushing for it, hoping for it, but uh, we've just got to uh, keep on pushing, really. Well, good luck, Stuart. Thanks a lot. This is how the 36 car field will line up, with Stephen Roberts on pole position and Stuart Voice on the outside of row two. In the sandwich, two other four men, Alex Dew and Martin Gambling. MR2 champion Paul Hinson lines up seventh. He's in a new car. It's his first appearance in Snetterton. We welcome to Jeff Humphreys, the former Stock Cats champion. Owen Hunter in 17th position is halfway up the field, making his first appearance for a few rounds. Watch out for Colin Bysouth, he'll be keen to make up progress from row 10 of the grid, or Shawnee Patterson, our Scottish visitor, is on row 12. All set for the first of two 13 minute plus one lap races around this 1.98 mile Donington Park National Circuit. Lights out, we're underway at Donington and it's an even start between the two front row men. If anything, possibly Stephen Roberts in the white car is nosy in front, and Alex Chu just slotting in behind him in second position. Looks like Martin Gambling there in third, Stuart Voice possibly trying to go around the outside of him as they turn their way through Redgate. On board with Chris Etheridge, a little bit of contact up ahead of Etheridge, who started on the 11th row of the grid today. He's making his way down through Hollywood for the first time. That was Colin Bysouth, I think, involved in that moment there but Roberts with a clear lead then as they head through the Craner curves for the first time. This massive field of cars looking absolutely resplendent in the sunshine at Donington. That, I think, is the Jeff Humphreys car, the plain white number 96 car, having had to be comprehensively rebuilt after an off in qualifying this morning. He actually spun into the parked car of David Drinkwater and impacted the impact caused quite a lot of damage on both of those cars.
Out of Coppice Corner they come then, and it's Roberts leading. In second place is Alex Dew as they come over the crest of the hill and then down the Dunlop Strait. It is Gambling there in third, Stuart Voice in fourth position. They're about to turn into the chicane now. Looks like Bryce Greenwood is in fifth. He started on the outside of row three, so he's got up ahead of Simon Roach there. Neil Trotter in the green and white cart, turning his way through. But Steve Roberts already building quite a decent advantage in the lead of this race. Now, if my maths were correct, a couple of second place finishes would have been enough for him today, whatever Stuart Voice could do. He's in the lead of the race at the moment, and if he wins it, that makes the task that little bit easier in race two. But don't forget, still a couple more rounds to go after this at Cabral Park. At least two cars running a little bit too wide there at uh, Redgate Corner. Colin Bysouth, though, the number 11 car that we're on board with, was not one of them on that occasion. Colin, who was on the podium at Brands Hatch at the beginning of the season, seems to be a, a favourite circuit for Colin. Not quite replicated those results anywhere else during the course of the year. Under the Starkey's bridge he goes. Field heading their way through McLean's then for the second time in this 13 minute plus one lap race. With Roberts still edging away in the lead from in second place Alex Dew. In third position it is still the car of Martin Gambling but Stuart Voice right behind him. And Voice now threatening, there's a gap back to the fifth position car. That's now Simon Roach, Bryce Greenwood is involved, and so too with that bronze-fronted car is Kevin Denwood, number 55. He was having a look down the inside there of Bryce Greenwood to try and take sixth position away. More cars running far too wide at Doddington Park at Redgate Corner there. I'm sure the observers will be making a note of those numbers and reporting them to race control for being four wheels off the circuit. On board here with Neil Roach in car number 81. He lined up eighth on the grid for this. Again, cars going off ahead of him. That's certainly causing them to slow and it's giving Neil the opportunity to catch them. Is he going to make up a place here as they go into McLean's corner? We'll see if he's got that done in a moment, but certainly up at the front of the field, it's still Steve Roberts that's edging away from the rest of the field. Dew still there in second position in the number six car. He's yet to have a podium finish during the course of the year as Alex Dew, but he has been very consistent and hence his position in the championship of third coming into this weekend. But he needs to watch out for Martin Gambling, who's catching him in the point standings. There's the 66 car then of Bryce Greenwood. Just behind him is Neil Roach, yet to find his way through. And just behind him, I think, is Paul Hinson in the 25 car. Picked up a lot of damage and effectively needed... Uh, a new car uh, thereafter. That was at Snetterton, only the second meeting of the season for Paul Hinson. As due now with voice behind him then. Gambling has gone down to fourth position. Then a gap back to Simon Roach in fifth. On board here with Chris Etheridge. Colin by South there is up ahead of us as well. They turn their way through Redgate Corner. Someone a long way off the circuit there. Colin by South has to take avoiding action. And Etheridge can therefore go down the inside. Down the crane of curves they go towards the old hairpin. Colin Bice, oh, all very out of shape, but on the grass there, going down the inside into the old hairpin. Somehow he's managed to keep it on the track. But he's lost momentum there, so Bysouth is going to lose a position or maybe two here as they climb up the hill towards the right hander at McLean's now. Etheridge having a look down the inside there as they make their way through the right hand up then it's back up the hill towards Coppice once more by South back alongside us again here under breaking for Coppice corner Etheridge has the inside line by South on the outside Etheridge has a look across to check where by South is I think he must be happy now that he's behind him oh someone on the grass there is the number 14 car and that's for Oz Darva Stuart Voice trying this way and that to get past Alex Dew for second position. The two of them are absolutely side by side now as they come down the Dunlop straight towards the chicane. On the inside line is Dew, on the outside line is Voice with the spoiler on the back of his car. He still for the moment has to settle for third position. Martin Gambling, the former low-cost race winner, is not too far behind. 
and Martin has certainly had plenty of podium finishes, six in a row coming into this weekend. He's not yet in a podium position. Stuart Voice is trying to get up into second place around the outside of Alex Dew. That's not worked. Will he get the switch back on the way out of Redgate Corner? No, he won't. So Dew holds on for the moment, the former stock hatch and clear racer. This is a great fight for second position in this Marangoni Tyres Gas Shocks Compact Cup race. Dew, Voice, gambling. But all of this is letting Steve Roberts streak away into the distance. Pulling out an advantage gradually over the rest of the field and Voice now gets alongside Alex Dew as they head under the bridge. Well, towards McLean's corner they go. Now who is going to come out in front here? Is it going to be Dew who's on the inside line or is it going to be Stuart Voice in the number 21 car? The man from Billericay has made it through into second position now. Dew goes down to third place and Gambling is still in fourth with a gap back to the fifth place scrap. Out of copies they go. Looks like Simon Roach still there in fifth position. Kevin Denwood is there in sixth place at the moment. On board here with Neil Roach, just that little bit further back now. He's making his way down the Dunlop Strait towards the chicane. Oh, he's had a biff, and that was from Bryce Greenwood, I think, number 66. It's caused the 81 car of Roach to spin and lose at least a couple of places. Neil Trotter at the head of this group, but someone very out of shape there. It's Colin Bysouth. He's already had a big squirrely moment there. 49 and 60 cars go side by side as well. Oh, and a moment further back. That's for number five, which is David Rowe. 49 was Chris Platt. 60 was Terry Davis, by the way. This is Colin Bysouth. McLean's corner. And through on the inside of him goes the aforementioned Terry Davis, the man from Salisbury. Not a lot of room left there for Colin Bysouth. Meanwhile, that's Simon Roach going all over the gravel trap at the chicane and losing a place. He was in on terms there with Martin Gambling, but he's let Kevin Denwood go through to fourth position, I think. Look at this. Oh, and sideways goes the number 52 car of Tim Gibson. Chris Etheridge into the gravel in avoidance. He scoots through it, gets back on. Absolute chaos down there with the chicane. And this at quite an advanced stage of this. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five. Well, oh, there must be 12 cars in this battle. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Neil Trotter heading it. And Neil, who in the championship is in sixth position coming into this weekend. Not had quite such strong results recently as he did in the first third of the season. Well, wherever you look at the moment on this Donington Park National Circuit, there's a fight going on in this Marangoni Tyres Gas Shocks Compact Cup. Wonderful racing. I think you can tell it's getting close towards the end of the season now. As uh, number five, David Rowe from Dorking, makes up a position. Dust being kicked up wherever you look. Stuart Place, number 72, goes over the line, but across the line now goes the number 56 car of Stephen Roberts with Stuart Voice there in second position behind him well this 12 car battle making its way through Coppice Corner the 13 car there is Farrar Darvuk having slightly better fortunes than he did last time here at Donington Park when unfortunately he was eliminated on the first lap of the race on the Grand Prix circuit Down to the chicane they go. One or two drivers locking their brakes there. That's the 61 car at the back of the group. That's Matthew Warren from Starbridge. Just ahead of him is number 57, Will Gibson. Here comes Steve Roberts then. About to lap Stuart Place, but going through the chicane for the final time. Tracked by number 21, Stuart Voice. Up to the chequered flag he comes. And it's not quite done yet in the championship, but Stephen Roberts wins again in the Marangoni Tyres Gas Shocks Compact Cup. That's the ninth time this season. Stuart Voice is second, and here comes the fight for third place, and it's just going to be Martin Gambling that holds on from Kevin Denwood in the end. Fifth position goes the way of Simon Roach, and sixth after an eventful race was Bryce Greenwood. 
Colin Boy South down the inside of Terry Davis here into the chicane for the final time. I think he's made it through on the inside. Is he going to hold on to that position though? That was for 12th position they were fighting over and I think he's done it. Well, it's the same top three as we've had for much of the season. Six times in the last seven races. It's been Roberts, Voice and Gambling on the podium in that order. But Kevin Denwood has his best finish yet in fourth position. Simon Roach fifth, Bryce Greenwood in sixth. The best lap of the race went to the winner. Stephen Roberts in a 126.82, more than 82 miles per hour. Steve, well done on another victory in the BMW Compact Cup. I know you're not feeling that well, but you're still pushed on hard and a big lead. Yeah, well, I've only got a bit of man flu, so I can't really moan about that. That's not making me any slower. Um, yeah, it, we did exactly what we said we were going to do. You know, I keep pushing as hard as we can. Uh, obviously, the aim is to stay out of trouble, but the easiest place to do that is be out in front and stay out of the trouble, you know. So uh, that's what we aim to do, and we, we've, we've done that so far today. James Wynn Stanley racing in the BMW Compact Cup and you're sponsored by a magazine. Tell us a bit about that. That's right. I work for a practical performance car magazine and um, it, we're all about sort of down to earth uh, budget club motorsport um, and sort of classics, modified classics, that sort of thing. And uh, the Compact Cup, it's, it's really down to earth as sort of club racing goes. It's quite affordable. Um, we built this car at our show, sort of loosely put it together, sort of a promo as, as to how little really you need to get on the grid. Obviously, then we did a bit more work to, to get it up to scratch, but um, you know that, that's how we got in, met Paul, and, and found out about the series. And it's been uh, it's been a slippery slope of obsession since then. And it's a great exposure for the magazine as well because with TV and the crowd, it's all to do with motorsport. It's a great starting ground. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's great for us. It's it's great for uh, for the series for us to promote in the magazine. So it works well. Uh, works well both ways. So it's it's really up our street and it's uh, yeah, it's going really well. And your racing ex uh, experience before has it been quite a lot, or is this your first kind of foray? No, I did, I did Rockingham uh, two two rounds ago. Um, that, that were my first two car races. Uh, I've done a little bit of uh, endurance karting before, but but nothing else in cars. So it's uh, it's, it's in at the deep end. And, um, yeah, in the Compact Cup, but but I mean, there's a great mix of sort of experienced guys and amateurs, um, and, and everyone gets along really well, and uh, there's some great competition out there. Well, that's the main thing, of course, and, and good luck for the rest of the weekend. Thanks very much. Cheers. The grid for race two set by the finishing order of race one, so it's Roberts, Voice, Gambling, Denwood, Simon Roach, and Greenwood on the first three rows of the grid. Lights out, away we go. Who makes the best of the starts this time? Not a bad getaway from Stuart Voice on the outside of the front row, but Steve Roberts really does seem to have these nailed these days, doesn't he? Down towards Redgate for the first time. It looks like he's got his nose in front. Voice possibly leaving the door open there for Martin Gambling to try and find a way through. And Colin Bysouth breaking it out on the outside there in the orange number 11 car. Roberts it is then from Voice in the lead of the race. It looks like it's gambling in third position at the moment as they drop down through Craner Curves for the first time. Again, 13 minutes plus one lap, which should equate to 10 laps around this Donington Park circuit. Well, someone going a little bit wide there and someone not going wide enough because they've cut the grass on the inside of the circuit and that is the number 57 car, I think, of Will Gibson, isn't it? So 57, Will Gibson having a big spin dropping right to the back of the field. Down the Dunlop straight they come then for the first time and it's Roberts leading the way from in second place Stuart Voice. Third place it looks to be the number 99 car of Martin Gambling. It's side by side for fourth position. Bryce Greenwood trying to find his way through on the inside of Kevin Denwood and he's done it. Denwood goes down to fifth. Simon Roach there in sixth place. On board with Simon Roach, drawing alongside the 55 car of Kevin Denwood now. It's going to be on the outside line though for Redgate Corner. Can this work? Can it possibly work? Look at this, Paul Hinson in number 25 is trying to get stuck in as well. So is the 81 car, that's Neil Roach, Simon's brother. In the end, Simon has to settle for the moment for sixth position. Top three having broken away, but it's five cars battling over fourth. A bit further back is Chris Etheridge, number 33. He finished 14th in row one, race one. So he started a little bit further up the grid this time. Dropping down the Craner curves is the man from Greys in Essex. Through the old hairpin, clatters the curves, carries more speed through the corner than the car ahead of him. 
And here's the scrap, Denwood and Roach, fifth and sixth. Look a bit further back to see the group that uh, Chris Etheridge is in, of course. Dust being kicked up. I think some cars possibly just uh, cutting the apex on the inside of the circuit a little bit too keenly there. Rest of the field filtering their way through then as down the hill from Coppice Corner they come and Simon Roach has gone ahead of Kevin Denwood but Denwood back on the inside line as they go into breaking for the chicane they're absolutely side by side but Roach is trying to elbow Denwood out of the way and Denwood's been really pushed back down the order then because that's Paul Hinson coming through on the inside in the all black number 25 car and he's done it Paul Hinson's through he's up into fifth position that's Bryce Greenwood a little bit further up the road in fourth so Hinson goes fifth Simon Roach is sixth Neil Roach is now seventh and that's Kevin Denwood in eighth position looks like trying to join in with them as well is the Jeff Humphreys car number 96 the former Stock Cats champion one driver that we need to look for in this one is Alex Dew he had a sick engine in the first race of the day and dropped back down the order as Simon Roach number 65 makes a place back up good work there for the man from Worcester and the Starkist bridge they go and up to McLean's well there you can see through the front of shot go our top three but then we look back to see this battle for fifth position it's Roach from Roach actually at the front of this group at the moment I think as we go on board with Colin Bysouth who's always good value in the number 11 car and from Rochford turns into Coppice Corner look at the squabble going on ahead of him he's just trying to latch himself onto the back of that group it's the fight we've just been looking at in actual fact there you can see Colin's car with a black bonnet and the mainly orange car is not too far behind this group here got Alex Dew in there, you've got Paul Hinson in there, you've got Jeff Humphries in there I think that might also possibly be Dean Blackburn, sorry Daniel Kirby that's in there as well isn't it, the number 28 car I beg your pardon they fan out, three or even four wide going down into Redgate Corner by South trying to make some places up around the outside of Alex Dewey goes it's Daniel Kirby trying to make profit down the inside line by South goes off does he spin no he doesn't keeps it pointing in the right direction good car control that from Colin by South the track limits being thoroughly explored here at Donington Park don't forget next season you can't even get one wheel off the curbs I think some of these uh, compact cup drivers are gonna have to rein in their driving styles somewhat there's Kirby number 28 He's from Chelmsford. White car in the middle of that pack. Meanwhile, the leaders, I can tell you, are in the order. Roberts, Voice and Gambling. No change there, then. We've become rather used to that. But here comes this fight up into McLean's. And that's Kirby on the inside of Jeff Humphreys now. Paul Hinson in there as well. Alan, and Colin Boysouth, who we go on board with. Turning their way through Coppice Corner in towards the sun which is low in the sky at this time of year at Donington Park down the Dunlop Strait past the Exhibition Centre by South Jinx to the left he's trying to find a way past that car which is Terry Davies in actual fact isn't it the, uh, the number 60 car almost a nerf on the back of the Jeff Humphreys machine from the car behind him Daniel Kirby and look at this side by side between Paul Hinson and Alex Dew they disappear out of the front of our shot there you can see that night. Oh, and a spin! That's number 84, which is Scott Lawson from Lincoln. Pointing in the wrong direction. Yellow flags waving. He's taken to the Grand Prix circuit to loop around and get back into the race. But he'll lose a lot of places because of that. Finished 25th in race one. And that will do his hopes in this one no good at all, I'm afraid. Dewan and Hinson still together. The MR2 champion last year, Paul Hinson. Just done two meetings in this championship so far this year. This is the third. Neil Roach goes through. Kevin Denwood goes through. This battle now just beginning to dissipate a little bit and splitting off into separate components. And there's By South again. Just tucked in behind Kirby, I think that was. Now, look at this. A battle for the lead because... Stuart Voice has not let Stephen Roberts get away there's less than half a second between the two of them as they come up and over the line once more 
And Stephen Roberts, he's feeling some breath down his collar for the first time in quite some time in the Marangoni Tyres Gas Shocks Compact Cup. Stuart Voice did some race winning at the, in the early part of the season. He had three in the first two meetings, but since then it's been the Steve Roberts show. Stuart Voice hasn't had much of a look in. Back on board with Etheridge, number 33. This is down the Wheatcroft straight, past the pit lane we go. And who's that creeping past us? It's Neil Trotter, isn't it? Number 12, based in MGZR in the stock hatches for the past couple of seasons. Trying to do something different to the Saxo Hordes. Has now gone rear wheel drive racing and is really enjoying it. Suits his short oval background. Kirby and Davis and by South turning their way through the old hairpin. Jeff Humphreys just a little bit further up the road. Dust being kicked up by Kirby. When one goes, others tend to follow. Now, is that a yellow flag that the driver's just passed there? If so, no overtaking. Here's Chris Etheridge. It's the 13 car, which is for Ardava. He's up the inside, going into McLean since he's left his braking too late, though. I don't think he has. He's got through. Darva runs wide. Neil Trotter can capitalise. Darva loses two positions there in the space of one corner, really. Turn their way up to Coppice now, and Trotter's got the move done. This is the battle in about 16th and 17th positions. Over the line comes our race leader once more then. Roberts from Voice still only about half a second between them. It's great stuff from these two. A bit lonely for Martin Gambling who's there in third position. It's still Bryce Greenwood in fourth a little bit further back. The former Northwest Formula Ford 1600 champion is still leading the way. That's Derek Forrest possibly in the front of that group and the spinner. I cannot tell you who that is because we can't see his number but he's going to rejoin the race I think. More wheel-to-wheel -wheel action including the number 49 car Chris Platt there. One car just cutting the inside of Hollywood. Number five also involved which is David Rowe from Dorking. He's in the yellow car at the back of that group. Chris Platt then going wheel to wheel with Frost Darva number 14. Under Starkey's bridge, past the Marshall's post, through the left hander at Schwantz Curve, named after the motorcycle great, of course. Now the right hander at McLean's. Oh, and David Rowe, number five, got that a little bit wrong, and he's lost a few car lengths there to the cars that are pursuing him. Up towards Coppice Corner he goes. 33, Chris Etheridge, we're on board with him. Just behind him is number 47, that's Owen Hunter, the reigning Saxmax champion, and it's so good to see Owen Hunter back out this weekend. Oh, as Bryce Greenwood gets very out of shape there, he's got the two Roach brothers now both ahead of him. So Greenwood goes down to sixth position. It looks like Kevin Denwood is there in seventh spot. It's Neil up to fourth then, Simon in fifth position as they drop down now towards the old hairpin once more. Back end stepping out a little bit on Neil Roach's car, he cooks up the dust, a tidier line there for Simon. That's going to allow him to get alongside as they go through Schwantz curve and up towards McLean's. Look at them, the two brothers absolutely locked together here. Roach is going to have the inside line for the right-hander and he's done it, he's through to fourth place. It was that error at the old hairpin that cost Neil dear. Greenwood and Denwood spying their opportunity as well. Well, Darva going through, followed by that 49 car, which is Chris Platt. Oh, dust kicked up, and that's the danger. Ewan Wyge can spear across the circuit and spin. Chris Darva going to rejoin the circuit there. We go back to this battle for fourth position. Simon Roach, Neil Roach, Bryce Greenwood, Kevin Denwood heading through the chicane once more squeal of those Marangoni tyres as they make their way out of the chicane and now here comes Neil Roach he's looking to the outside line for Redgate Corner number 81 on the right hand side of your picture there and Kevin Denwood is going to try and go around the outside of Bryce Greenwood as well some of the pit lane exit being used but no change in either of those duels but Simon Roach runs wide and that's going to give Neil the chance to come back at him and get fourth place back oh and he's overshot there that's number 49 which is the Platt car, Chris Platt goes into the gravel trap, outbreaks himself I think as he's trying to get past David Rowe. Now the danger is that car is going to be beached in quite a dubious position I'm afraid. 
in prime spot for anyone that might get the chicane a little bit wrong. So the battle goes on between Simon and Neil Roach. So Simon's got fourth place back again. Goodness me, I've lost count of the number of times those positions have changed. Then Greenwood there and Denwood, but the red flags come out, and I'm not surprised by that because we did have that car stranded in a rather dangerous position. And with more than three quarters of the race done, the results have been declared at seven laps, with Stephen Roberts getting the win by three quarters of a second from Stuart Voice, and that wraps up the championship for him. Martin Gambling third, then Bryce Greenwood, Simon Roach and Neil Roach complete the top six. What a fantastic battle they had. What a shame it was cut short. Fastest lap this time went to Stuart Voice. He lapped to 82.42 miles per hour. This is how the points look. Steve Roberts can't be caught once dropped scores come into the equation. He has 601 points, Stuart Voice 571. Watch out Alex Dew because Martin Gambling is after your third position. Steve Roberts, race victor there in the second BMW Compact Cup race. More importantly though, the 2013 champion. Yeah, that's what we came here to do today and it's I'm over the moon we've got it, you know. I've got to thank uh, all my sponsors. I've got to thank uh, my wife for supporting me through this, Sandrine, and my little daughter, Bailey, uh, my mum and dad as well. Um, I've got to thank the team, BMW, uh, the BMW Specialist.co.uk and AW Track Sport. The sponsors, Jet Energy. Um, we've got PRG, uh, PRG Trailers uh, and Euro Car Parts and SP Automotive. They've all, they've all contributed to the car this year, and you know, without the car, you couldn't do it. Uh, but most of all, I've got to thank my brother Phil because he just works endless hours on the car, puts so much effort in and, you know, it's our championship, not just mine. It takes a team to win a championship and that's exactly what I've got, you know, a brilliant team. You've done the job as always. Uh, many congratulations and good luck for Cadwell. Yeah, thanks a lot. Cheers. Let's hope the action at Cadwell Park is equally good. We'll see you in three weeks' time. Bye-bye for now.